Inside the Circle 126 Pounds Whiteboard Predictions. Let's go! You know there was one time that you said a kid was going to win this match? And I said, oh, I thought you said someone else. And I raced, I wrote down their name, and you're like, no, 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 I said so-and-so. And I was like, mm, oh, no, no, no. That was Shakur Laney against Luke Nace. Both really, of, I don't know where you're going there. From both there. of whom went to wrestle at Ohio University. Colt Sponseller called me up. Coach Sponseller, excuse me, Coach Greenlee. Coach Greenlee actually came to the Derby tournament one time, sat right next to me. We were at the head table there. We were just sitting, just talking, you know, just talking. So, so he calls me up, and I say, Coach, what's up? And he just wanted to re talk, you know, recipes and whatnot. 126 pounds. Wow. Let's go. I'm never going to get that five minutes back in my life. <laughs> hey, 126 pounds is basically a one-horse race. Then if you expand it, it's probably a two-horse race. And if you expand it more, it's probably a complete free-for-all. Woo. Let's go. Projecting the final two spots is going to be almost impossible. But I think two things are going to come into play if I'm able to do that. Okay. One, I'm going to be able to do in an incredible manner, judge the strength, weaknesses, matchups, and plus the intangibles, or mm. just plain dumb luck. I'll take I, the latter on that. <laughs> well, if it does end up being the latter and I get correct, I'm going to claim it as the former. Of course. But the last two spots in this weight class are completely up for grabs, and I think it's <laughs> almost impossible to project them correctly. And I don't think I'll get one entry in the whiteboard prediction that will have any of the two same in the last two spots. I can't wait. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. No way. Okay. Well, let's talk about these 16 people who are going to be slugging it out for those last two spots. Shot! Up top, we have Logan Agin, the Duke. Of the entire wait class. Boothby, Upper Arlington, Castillo from Walnut Ridge, Thompson from Marysville, Gomez, Pickerington North, Ross from Marion Harding, Moore from Dublin Kaufman, Palmer from Westland, Graham from Taze Valley, Workman from Logan, Burrell from Mount Vernon, Conte, the Groveport Madison, Goshel from Reynoldsburg, Branson out of Pick Central. Ginturk out of Olin Tangy Liberty, followed by White from Westerville North. We've done them all a favor and brought the winners from the first round out. However, Sean, there's one match I'm going to want to talk about right here. Hashtag. Yeah, this is definitely a hashtag match here. Um, former state qualifier. Former state qualifier going against the, uh, Goshal. Mark's been high on Goshal all year. They both are wrestling well. Branson just for some reason, I think, I, I, he has flashes of brilliance, and then he has flashes where I think, man, head scratches where I thought he should have won that he didn't. And this first round, a hashtag, we're going to go with Gosho. Oh, I, th I totally saw that going differently, man. Incredible, Sean. Well, let's rock and roll here with these guys. Now, Sean, the, now the quarterfinals are set. Friday night fireworks, baby. Let's talk Quarterfinals, Darby we're gonna, District. We're going to start at the top here and work our way down. We're going to have Egan, who's going to be a heavy favorite in that quarter, come out rather easily. Got you. What about Gomez Palmer? Gomez Palmer, hashtag match right there. Woo! Marks went up to the Bad Apple Brawl, came back, and he's like, man, I really like this Gomez kid yes. who was wrestling 32 that day and up winning the Bad Apple at 32. Mark was so high on him. We've seen him at uh, Liberty in a match that was horribly officiated. Horribly officiating the semifinals ends up losing, ends up getting injured to that that oh, match, and I don't yes. think he's really ever got it going after that. I think that's just been a hiccup for him going forward, where he just can't seem to be going on track. Palmer coming off that big sectional win at Upper Arlington, really wrestled brilliantly in a lot of low scoring matches, and we're going to take Palmer nice. advancing out to the semifinals here in a completely unpredictable match. I love it. I love it. What about Graham Burrell, Gosha White? We're going to stay up here at the top part of this half here. And we talked about a one-horse race expanded to the two-horse race. Yeah, yeah. I really think Graham coming in here, I didn't like the move from 13 to 26. I thought that jump may be a little bit hard for him, but it's really adjusted Boom. to him well. Made the finals at Liberty, had a good showing at uh, Medina. Look, just looked good a lot. He was out for a little bit there for uh, some uh, – uh, banged up a little bit here, but he's come back looking strong. Looked great to me at the sectional tournament. And we're going to have Graham moving on to the semifinals here. Got it. Graham. Taze Valley. What about Goshel White, Sean? 
Yeah, Gosha White here. Like I said, Mark's pretty high on Gosha in this match here. And White White looked great. He won the big walnut to start the season. Yep. Then he got banged up. He was out for a lot. Came back to the sectional tournament. As Mark said, there was unseatable because he didn't have enough wins. Really breezed through that sectional pretty easily. Yep. Looked great. Coach Grant has been on all year telling me, I got these kids and I'm telling you, I'm going to bring them all together at once and they're going to put a very good team on the mat. And I'm going to stick with his theory here that he truly really does have his team heading in the right direction. And we're going to have White advancing Ooh, out to the semis. Buddy, a fantastic. So what will happen is these guys will cross bracket over. Sean, walk me through who we're going to have. Goshal up top. Goshal. From Reynoldsburg, his opponent, Burrell. And this is where it gets a little tricky for me, Sean. We're going to have Conte marching, Conte marching back. Nice. After dropping that first match from the Groveport Madison. Taking another guy who's marching back in oh. Branson. Nice. Branson pick central. Well, Sean, these guys are going to have to move forward. Let's have them come forward. Well, we're going to start the top part of this okay. concert here. I know you've been a big fan of Gorshaw. Goshaw. So we're going to have Goshaw advancing out here. All right. Goshaw. In the bottom here, we have a rematch of the sectional semifinals at Newark. Where Conti kind of controlled that match, ended up getting the win of the pin there. Oh. We know what we used to do back in the day, Mark. We Tell used to switch them. We, we used, used to, to switch them. We used to switch them. <laughs> it's hard to be a top level guy. Two times in a row. Yeah. It truly is. Anywhere in a bracket. In this scenario, I think they'll make it. Coach Allen and uh, Coach Sassby. Sassby do a great job. I think they'll make the adjustments. I think they'll have them maybe ready. Maybe uh, Branson was looking ahead into his finals match and not okay. paying attention to the current match. I think they'll have that all ironed out. They'll have Branson up, avenging his loss, getting to the Kanto semis. Wow. Branson. I always love it when you flipped him on me, man. How these, who are these guys going to wrestle? We did that a lot back in the yes, day. Yes, we man. did. They're going to wrestle here. the semifinal non-winners. They're going to go over there. So let's talk semifinals, Sean. Ooh, Saturday at noon. Saturday at noon. We're going to start here in the finals. Look, Egan's looking great. He's a senior. Really, he's been almost untouchable in the Central District over the last four years. No one's really even pushed him. I think he's a heavy favorite in this scenario, and we'll have him advancing out. Okay, what about Graham White? Whoa, well, you know, buddy. This is a white guy. No one's really seen him. It's going to be hard to scout him. He's just kind of under the radar there, coming in his balls of uh, ball of fire. Looked great. Graham is a guy, again, I really think he right. made the adjustment well. He's very long and a great mat wrestler. I think White having the time off is going to make the difference. Graham has really looked great to me all year. I've had him number two all year. Okay. I'm not going to change this late in the game, so we're going to have Graham making you it to the final. Got it. Wow, congratulations, young man. Okay, Palmer over here. Oh, ha, 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 ha. I think people are watching this set up. Incredible. We'll have White down here from Westerville North. Talk to me, Sean. Let's go. We're going to start at the bottom okay. here. But let me give you some, Mark. You know, I'm going okay. to let you finally be part of something here. <laughs> oh, thanks. Really appreciate it. Holy smokes, Branson White, Branson coming off wins, White coming off a loss, that's never that great. However, I will say, having watched White last week, that kid is good. So here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to choose this one, you're going to choose this one. I'm going to choose White to become a state qualifier from Westerville North. Out of absolutely nowhere. Nowhere. I mean, absolutely left. He's behind left field. He's so far out there. <laughs> what about Top Shark? Palmer, oh. Gosho, all yours. Get after it. Yeah, I, Alphabetical order always helps. School colors, throw darts, whatever. 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 <laughs> you know what? We always talk about that guys who have teams that have state qualifiers and back to back weights. This guy's working out with Smalley. They're both coming in good here. I'm going to go with your boy Gosho. Wow. His Incredible. What a run. Goshal, Reynoldsburg, Palmer, Sean, break it down. Five, three, one, go. We're going to have Palmer getting the state alternate spot. Got it. We're going to have White getting the bronze. Nice. 
and we're going to have Logan Agan finishing his career in the same way he started it, Boom. absolutely uh, dismantling the field, winning the 126-pound Derby Championship. That's fantastic. Sean, as you mentioned, Logan Agan, champ, 126 pounds. Graham from Taze Valley, your runner-up. Third place, White from Westerville North, followed by fourth place, state qualifier, Goshel from Reynoldsburg. Your state alternate, Palmer from Westland, and your district place winner is Branson from Pick Central. And now you are inside the circle.